Hi everybody and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Corey, your Pampered Chef Consultant. Today we are going to do a comparison of baking a batch of cookies on two of our most popular tools for baking. The first would be our Pampered Chef cookie sheet. Now this is a 15 by 12 cookie sheet and it is professional grade quality combining the best of steel durability with the heat conductivity of aluminum. So this is an aluminized steel pan and this new coating is perfect for making sure that your baked goods do not stick and for keeping the pan looking lovely over time. It is completely dishwasher safe. It can also go in the freezer, of course, can go under the broiler. It's got these nice edges for pulling your cookies in and out of the um, oven. And um, they say, this is the tool to use for your best batch of cookies. Now, the other also claims to give you the best batch of cookies ever, and that is the rectangle stone. Now this stone here is also 15 by 12. It is our flat stone, no handles for um, the best um, air movement all around the cookies. And it is made of our stone fusion material. Now you can tell the difference between our older stones and our new stone fusion line by this wave pattern on the bottom. The new stone fusion line combines the best of all the favorite things that we have loved for years and years about our Pampered Chef stoneware with an increased durability and the ability to preheat the stone, put the stone under the broiler and put the stone right into the dishwasher for cleaning, which is something that we could never do with our previous cookie uh, or stoneware from Pampered Chef. So we're going to do the same batch of cookies on both cookie sheets and we're gonna see how they come out. Now, I will tell you that from experience when you bake cookies on a stone, the first time that you put them in the oven, you usually have to add a minute or two to the time for the stoneware to heat up because we don't preheat our stone before we put cookies on it. We want them uh, to cook and raise the temperature with the stone. Now, once the stone is is hot and you've taken off a batch of cookies and you're putting the next one in, that time lowers by that minute or two and it is usually pretty consistent with a regular cookie sheet. So we're gonna look at the difference between the same batch of cookies at the same temperature on both of these cooking tools and we're gonna see which you like best. Okay, so today we are working with one of my favorites, a snickerdoodle dough. And I've got the dough all ready. Now I am making these with the large cookie scoop because I am going to be gifting these in a nice package. So um, I am going to have evenly sized cookies, which is very important when you're baking cookies. And one of the primary reasons, not just for aesthetics, that we want our cookies to be scooped with a consistent scoop size. So every time you make cookies, you should either be using the small, medium, or large scoop so that you can have a very consistent size of cookie and they will all bake at exactly the same time and look professionally beautiful. But we've got our cookies evenly spaced on our cookie sheet. They're going in the oven at a 400 degree temperature on the middle rack. And I'm gonna start that timer at 10 minutes and we will see how those come out on the rectangle stone. Okay, these just came out of the oven and I ended up leaving them in for 11 minutes. And I know that they look a little bit underdone, but one of the tips with cookies, if you like them like I do, soft and chewy on the inside is to take them out a little bit early and um, let them finish cooking out of the oven because they will finish in the next couple of minutes and do not move them to the cooling rack for about two minutes. Okay, we're ready to put in our tray with the regular baking sheet. Now I've only got five cookies on this one because I'm doing giant sized cookies and so um, that single batch of snickerdoodle dough 
only makes 16, 17 cookies. So um, at this size of a scoop. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in so you can see the difference of the bake. Same temperature. And again, I'm gonna check it at 10 minutes. And at that size, they may need till 11 anyway. Um, and so we'll, we'll take it out and, and show you what they look like when they come out. Okay, let's get them out. I went ahead and did 11 minutes on these also. And you can see that because they were spread out more on the pan, it gave them a lot more room to expand. So, and they also keep the round shape if they don't touch one another. However, I'm usually not that patient to cook that few on a cookie sheet when I do lar large cookies. But these have pretty much perfectly kept their shape. And if there's ever a little spot that's off, what I would do is just take a little mini serving spatula and just kind of give just a little touch while they're cooling to bring that into perfect circular shape. So that's a little bit wider cookie. The other ones were about three and a half inch and those are probably four. And once again, we are going to let them cool on the, the um, pan. I can tell that these are more done than the stoneware ones were. So the stoneware probably because it was the first time in the oven and the stone was cold when it went in, um, could have used 12, 13 minutes. Whereas um, 11 looks like it's just perfect on the cookie sheet. And after two to three minutes, no longer, just enough for them to set and not be totally mushy and floppy, we're going to move them to the uh, cooling rack. All right, so here we have the difference. On this side right here, we have the ones that were cooked on the rectangular stone, 12 to a sheet. This side here, we have the ones from the uh, luminized steel baking sheet, five on the sheet, so well spread out. You can see that neither one of them have dark bottoms and they're both nice and soft on the inside. This one here is definitely more done in the same amount of time. So both were in for 11 minutes and this one is more done, slightly more done. That could be because it's spread a little bit further as well, but both still have a nice bite when you bite into them, a nice crispy crust, and a soft center. So that's what you want when you bite into a cookie, in my opinion. You want it to be nice and solid, little crunch on the edge, but nice and soft and chewy on the inside. And so my family's tasting both. They're saying that the second ones um, on the cookie sheet are a little bit more done in the same amount of time. So like I said, we could have left the stoneware in for just a little bit longer on that first um, bake through. The second batch will be able to do probably pretty consistent to the baking sheet. And um, these ones spread out, did turn out a little bit prettier and a little bit bigger, um, but would take quite a bit longer time to do if you only did five to a tray. So I don't have a convection oven, so I can't do multi layers where the air is circulating. And so I'm doing one tray at a time. I like to pack them in, and I think those first ones tasted just as good and, and without comparing looked fine. So there you have it. Both tools rinsed right off with a little bit of warm water and a kitchen brush. No soap needed on either one of them, although you can use soap on both, but they quickly and easily rinsed right up, and they're drying on a rack. And um, I would say both of them made the best cookies ever. So it's really gonna be a preference to which um, implement you think you would use more. Um, and I absolutely have loved both. And now we're gonna go enjoy our cookies. Have a great day, everybody.